All right, we got Tommy, my man back from day one. Yes, sir, I'm back. What's going on, my brother? Just trying to survive out here. You know how it is. Now, like you're into the window tending, right? Yep. Into now, it. how has all this affected you? That that's why I, I initially I brought you back in. I mean, you got the Funko Pops, which was a pop. Awesome, it's you. crazy. You know, Best Buy back that. Yep. Or Reddit, ten thousand backing on that one. Wow. Ten thousand impressions, which was a lot. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. That's cool. I didn't even know what a Funko Pop was before you. Yeah. You know. They're pretty popular. Well, that that I I had no idea what they were. Yeah. But then what happened was everybody that has kids they know what they are. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. Now I obviously Just, know what the hell they are. Yeah, you know? That's cool. That's so good. how is the tinning industry mess with you with the COVID situation? Well, being that I'm small, personal, one man operation, it affected me a little more than the average shop because obviously it's just me. And I go out to the homes, and I have to go in your home, or I have to go in your car. And during the COVID, no one wanted no one in their car or in their house, so there's no way I'm getting any work at all. At all. I mean, basically from March until November first, no, the first week of November, I was dead. Nothing, nada. Just few calls here and there. People that trust me, don't worry about it, Tommy. They'll leave me the car keys along with the money in the car. And that way we don't, you know, we don't have any personal contact. And when I'm done, I'll just text them, you know, hey, the car is done with a picture. If they're happy. They'll send me a Venmo and off I go. Now, how was it before that, though? Before, before that. Before, before fruitful, like this whole COVID bullshit. I was doing pretty well. Because uh, we just so what, what would happen then though? Like in, in comparison to now and to, if, no. if you fire back, let's just say like a year ago, yeah. right? Gotcha. How would you compare a year ago to now? The industry has changed dramatically in a year because of the way we had to alter the way we do work. So before we can go into a commercial building and there was people there and we'd work around. Now it's, we can't go in their commercial building unless there's nobody in the building. So we have to do it in the evening times, early mornings, days that they're closed. We'd have to, we have to really work around it. A lot of the guys in the industry are fortunate enough that, you know, they can go in there and they'll put a mask on and the client's not home and they could just do their house that way. You know, a good example, Lee Windleton, I know he does it that way. He's you know, big, he's pretty big in the industry. And, um, Ace, Ace is a pretty big guy. Ace window tint and graphics. Um, he's also, you know, it, it really hasn't affected Ace or Ken because they're so big. You know what I mean? They, 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 um, they have a lot of dealer work. They have a lot of following that follows them. They do a lot of work for the city, and the city obviously will keep going, keep them going with the vinyl work or the tent work. So and as far as me, it's affected me because of uh, I love to do cars. And when I'm around the client, I get to talk to the client to find out more of what they like, and it's I can't pick up that new client now. I only can redo the clients that I've done before. So to pick up a new client now, it's word of mouth. And it's going to stay word of mouth for a long time. I could put myself on the internet all I want. Even the guys that are on the internet right now, you know, Shady Window Tent, I know him. He's number one when you go pull tin up. He pays for that. It, it's, it's hurting him more than anybody. You know, it's hurting the guys that are really advertising. I know that because <laughs> there was no work there. Guys like Elite Windleton, he's sitting in a corner where Bentley's there, Brayman's there, Porsche's there, Ferrari's next door, Lamborghini's across the street. It's fruitful around him. You know, he purchased a new Tesla, became a 3M dealer. So you have to, you know, weave with the times, I guess I should say. I just keep going directly with the clients I have. 
And I mean, I haven't changed window film companies, which is something that, you know, they know it's, it's consistent, which is SunTech. I'll stay with SunTech. They're owned by Eastman. They're, you know, also own Lumar. They almost inquired 3M, but 3M was like, whoa, no, we got, you know, we got Tesla and Elon Musk now, so we can do good with them because they're the only tent company that so you can 3M use. So 3M deal. 3M has a deal with Elon Musk directly. Yes, yeah. he he had a, he had a deal done directly with the CEO of uh, 3M, and that put 3M on the map. Because it Elon put Musk, their, it put right, right. Elon Musk. Anyone that does work for Elon Musk basically was from zero to hero right away. But overnight. wouldn't you be, though? I mean, yeah, I'm going to be when Fisher Corporation karma comes out. Now, why do you think... Now, I'm, I want to go back to the Ooh. tin thing, right? right? Oh, yeah. I want to go back to the tin thing. Yes. And, and Well, actually, I'm going to stay on. So, <laughs> you know, like you're like a mom, mama pop type of thing, yep, right? Palm you Beach did it on your own. Yep. Okay, yep, yep. You, you built your own business, yep. right? Now, this COVID crap has killed every mama pop business you could ever imagine, yep. right? Now, in your opinion, do you think that they should just open business and let people do what they want? Now, I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay, my opinion is go this. For it. It's your amendment right to decide if you want to go out and do it. So, yeah. in my opinion, it's like, okay, well, if I'm going to go get my windows ten right and talk to you, mm -hmm. number one, I would like the fact that you want to talk to me. You want to watch my battery body language maybe yep, yep the way i speak what i do and you want to make sure that when i when you're done i walk away happy that's true but without talking to somebody you, you can never know that right yeah because i mean your car is a reflection of you how am i going to know you if you just drop your car off and i don't speak to you i text you in true reality i'm I'm customizing your car to your everyday view. Okay, yes, you could put on wheels, you could put on spoilers. But what the hell do you look out of every day? Your windshield, your windows. Every day, day in, day out. You call me, I meet you. I got what you're telling me, what you're telling me, and I'm like, okay. And I'll tell you, yes, this is what I'm going to put on here. But at the end of the day, I'm going to put on what your body language has told me I know is going to go with you and your car. And I have clients every time they get in their car, they'll be like, wow. Now, I thought $260,000 on this beautiful Porsche was so worth it when I got in it. Now that I get in it and I feel what you're telling me and I, 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 I spoke to you, Tommy, you kind of understand... You understand what I want. It's really weird. It's kind of like um, you give your car to a car customizer. Same way. He's going to bring you, tell him what you want. You know, it's an old car and he's bringing it back to life. It's similar to that in its own way, I personally think, because you're bringing a brand new Porsche 2020, 2021, 911S Turbo. They're brand new. They're untouched. And you're like, hey, look, um, I want Expel 10 on my car. I don't say no to you. No problem. Why do you want Expel 10 on it? Oh, because everyone's using Expel, da-da-da. Because everyone else is using it, you want it. Well, can I tell you what I use is a lot better because it has this. Carbon fiber, polyurethane, extracted into a, a film that's just beyond its belief. Let me try what I have. I'll put it on your car. Let me let me put what I feel you're going to like. And if you don't like it, you don't have to pay nothing. I'll peel it off. We'll start over. And we'll call it the day. And you know what I like about the mama pop thing, right? And this is what I like. Because, you know, you go to these bigger businesses or whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. And a lot of times, even when you get your hair cut, right? Yeah, that's true. You say, look, I want my hair cut this way, or mm -hmm. I want, I, or you take your car to get tinted, right? Yep. And you tell them the way that you want it, but what they do is they do it what they think is best. Yes. They're not listening to what you want exactly. or your body language, right? Exactly. 
so when somebody comes out to you and you know, like I, you did my accountant. Mm -hmm. and my accountant mm -hmm. is a beast. Yep. You know, he's a monster. Very cool guy. Yeah. He's very awesome. happy. Very happy with what you did, by the way. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, you did it perfect. Yeah. I mean, he, he. Every time I walk, not every time, but a lot of times I walk in, he goes, "Who is this Tommy Tank guy yeah. that you know?" You yeah, know, that's really cool. I, I appreciate that. That's now, really but nice. what I wonder is, how do you read the body language? How do you do it? With your account, it was more like as soon as he was walking towards his truck, it was. And that truck is like a big thing to him. He he, he I loves can tell that because it was thing it like was crazy. A, it, it's an older truck, not not a lot by older, but when I mean older, it's a vehicle that he's paid off. Okay, he's taken care of it, he's cherished it, and when he told me what it, what vehicle it was, I pulled right up to it and I walked the vehicle, look inside the vehicle. Then, as soon as I'm done looking at, okay. This is what it's just like something that just I don't know how to explain it, but when I looked in the vehicle as I'm done looking in his truck from the driver's side, I look to the left and there he is. And I just put both two and two together at that moment. And I'm like, it has to be done to the specs that he will appreciate. But how did you know what he wanted to do? Because you, because listen, I, I I've known him just, for seven years. I don't know, and I, I I've it's never heard hard. him other than me. Yeah, without the really ego, hard. take yeah. my ego out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never course. heard him ever appreciate anybody but you. Yeah, and cool. I I know he loves that fucking truck and this yeah, and of that. Course. But what I'm saying is, what steps did you take to read him? To be able to figure out what he wants. When I, you know what I mean? When I shook his hand, this was before COVID, I shook his hand and I just He wouldn't felt, even care right now. Yeah, because, I, you know. I felt his aura when I shook his hand. It was just a good When you say thing. aura, what do you mean? Spirit. You know, I could I can you know, I, I elaborate on that. After, maybe somebody's trying uh, to start a business after, and how, how do you how do you get like you where you have that I, that's that's something that I can't lie to you. It's something the Lord gave me, I guess, you know. I can't really explain that to no one. It's really something that I just feel in my heart when I shook his hand and I've seen him. And it's, you know, I I, I literally started tinning in 1997 because I had to do it because I was a teen father and I was scared. I didn't know what I was going to do. So that's where it all came into play for me to either trust my instincts in this business or not and i didn't trust my instincts i wish i would have because i wouldn't be in window 10 today i would have just continued and become an architect and finished my well, hold on college. hold on what was your instinct though what was it to Never keep going to keep going to college keep going to uh, um and get my degree in architectural that was the main objective. That was my main, my father's main objective for my life before he was murdered. So, but it was, but was like, that what you wanted, though? I didn't know that. That's what I wanted at the time. But yes. But that, looking that like, like like today, like right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're sitting here together. Yep. We've been friends for years, yep, right? Yep, you know, yes, it's very true. You know, we're we're very close. Yep. And you came here when I was nothing. Yep. You sat in this room when it was not like this. Yeah, you don't no, remember? It's beautiful, yeah. It's, ah, you've thank done a you lot. Very much. It's I come a long it. way, yes, for sure. Yeah, and I appreciate that very much. Yeah. And then when I had the vapor bars, you were around yeah. and everything oh, yeah. else. That was cool, yeah. That yeah. was really cool, yeah. You're successful at whatever you do, so that's a good thing. That's a sign of uh, a fighter, you know. That's definitely in your heart. Um, get back to what you were asking me. You know, at, at the end, end of all of this if i would have if i would have you know i had a real good friend of mine that graduated from high school forest to high school and he went to um too you know and he was cuban and you know um guillermo always said dude if you go with your heart you're gonna fall so you have to stand tall his father came from cuba on a freaking raft okay and that i didn't get until now i'm 49 and he's a successful architect in Miami. Net worth is over 130 million. Has built a lot of buildings in Miami that he signed off on. That could have been me. I would have been right next to him. But, but I why, went but, but, with but listen, my heart. But, but listen, listen, listen. This is the reason why I'm. But, but Tommy, Tommy, listen to me. 
Why can't that be you now? Oh, it is. Karma Fisca, I'm telling you. This hell, karma wait, what the hell is Karma Fisca? Karma is a new car company that started in 2018. Oh, this bullshit. Come okay, on. Here we it go runs on off of one. it runs off of fossil here we fuel. You're going to bring back to this, which is a loser, but okay, I'll, I'll listen to hey, your bullshit, but hey, I'm telling you. I am not I am not back in this one. I'm not vouching for this one. Nope. Fossil so when fuel. This, when it's false as shit and solar power. Okay, fossil fuel and solar, solar power. power. And why do you think that that's going to because California is the richest state in the world, and it okay. runs off of sun. Okay, okay. And they also run their homes off of solar power. So Florida followed by allowing us homeowners $30,000 to get solar power. So you should do it on your house. You know what I think they you could do? They give you thirty grand. You know what I think you do, Tommy? What's that? I mean, with all due respect. I, I love you. Tell me. You believe what you want to believe. No, I ran into this. This is I'll good. I'll read into it all you want, yeah. but why don't you go back to the architect shit? That's your thing. No, I'm just going to invest money well, into... See, look, look, invest money into what? Karma A Fisca. stock that you don't even know what's going to happen? Well, it's going to blow up. Well, you think it's going to blow up? I know it is. I'm telling you. What, do you got a genie ball? Yes. NASA Where's bought it. Where's the genie ball? NASA bought it. So if NASA buys any company, that means it's good. And then you think they're going to let you buy it? Oh, yes, oh, you, boy, can buy gotta, on, I, you can buy them. You can buy them. I got a lot to you can teach buy you, buddy. Stock. Listen, let me tell you something. All right, I'm, I'm going to teach you a little bit of a lesson, okay? okay. If NASA bought something, mm -hmm. you are not going to have the ability to buy it, buy it. And if you did, they're going to buy you out of it. So you're going to make it little. Like right now, like Stop. Bitcoin is like 22K, right? And now, I could have bought Bitcoin at a thousand k. If you would have done that, I would not be happy with you. Yeah, I, I, I would never talk to you again, because if you think that that's real Bitcoin. and there's not manipulators behind that, you have no it's brain cells. Okay, it's not real. Now a lot of people do that. My friend has Bitcoin machines. Now that's a different thing, because mm -hmm. because every time there's a, he out. goes yeah, yeah. it's twenty two percent awesome. interest, yeah, right? Awesome. Smart guy. Now that's a good business. Yeah, yeah. Paul. No. We should do that. Let's call Paul. Let's do that. No, no, Paul's my dude. No, no, nah, he's Let's my dude. Nah, boat, nah, nah, he, nah, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. Yeah, I know. you're getting used to the headphones. Yeah, huh? a little bit. But it's better though, right? Oh yeah, these are awesome. I'm just trying to get him to not lean back so far. Ruin no, your hair, hair looks good if you're worried about your hair. Yeah, doing the do. It's <laughs> kind of funny. But you, you, you can put up because you know you can adjust them anyway you want. I know. I'm only kidding. But if you buy Bitcoin. I would have a no. Set it's down too late you. now for Bitcoin. No, because the problem is, it, I would buy it too. Yeah. I, the I would digital buy it. currency. You know, the United States Mint just uh, they they released digital currency now. The one dollar bill. Okay, but it's not FDIC. It. Not yet. Back. Yeah, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty one May of twenty twenty one. You'll be able to purchase it. Through the U.S. Mint on your digital iPhone. <laughs> I swear. Digital currency. Okay. All right. Tommy. Tommy. It's nuts. Tommy. Tommy. Use your head, right? Yes. Okay. Talk to me. They tell you May 2021, right? Now, I want you to add. Now, use your brain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Add things up. And I'm saying this respectfully. So, anybody watching this, I love this guy. <laughs> I take care of him. Yeah. I love his whole Give family. I do anything for him. But I'm telling you, you need to add things up. Okay, so May 2021. They'll release the digital dollar. That's okay, what well, say. you and I both know that's not going to happen. No, Biden is not going to but, 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 But listen to me. Listen, this is my point from the beginning. That's what you want to believe. Yeah, I don't whoa, believe Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't believe Whoa, that. whoa, whoa. That's but, just hearsay. But see, listen, you listen to things that you want to believe, right? No, I don't. But they're not... You, I listen um, to things I'm interested in. I disagree in. with you. I try to be interested. Well, okay, this is my opinion, and then you that's can fine. prove me wrong. That's fine. And you better have some proof, right? Yeah, that's fine. And this is fun because we're friends. <laughs> of course. You know, fuck it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Whatever. Not. Okay, so you say things, and I know they're not true, right? And I know yeah. I can prove you wrong, and okay. I prove you wrong. Yep. Now I want you to prove me wrong. And if I'm wrong, I, I can accept it. Okay. You know what I mean? Cool. Okay, so you're wrong about Bitcoin. You're wrong about this yeah. Fisco thing Bitcoin or whatever you're gone. interested in. and Karma Fisca. Karma Fisca. That's just a bad Fisher move. Fisher Company. Fisher Company, right. It's a bad move. Now, I want you to sit here across me as friends, as family, right? We're all family. Okay. Yep. And prove me wrong why I would take my money, 
right? Which to me, it's no. Tell me why I would buy Fisco, Karma, or whatever the hell this shit is. And remember, before you answer this, I've had lenders in. I've had 10 guys in from the stock market that have been doing this for 50 years. Not one, not two, 10. So I want you to tell me why in the world I would put my money into that. And if you give me one thing that makes any sense, I'll say you're right. But you know me for a lot of years. It takes a lot for me to say that you're right. Gas mileage. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's your fucking answer? Gas, Gas mileage? mileage? Okay. I tinted a 2021 <laughs> Karma Gas Fisca four-door for Derek. Tommy, okay. if you put your money in that, if you, I'll be very Listen, disappointed. It's, it's, it, he already bought the car. It's out. The car gets 52 miles to the gallon. And he fills it up maybe once a week. Maybe once a week. Sometimes twice a week, he said. Is Elon Musk behind this? He is not yet, but he will be. Why do you think he will be? Because he's doing the rocket thing, and he dealed, He got together with NASA, and NASA bought this company before they did the deal with Elon Musk. That's why I've been telling you, buy Fisker didn't tell you that before the interview by the way everybody listening out there i sandbagged them <laughs> i'm sorry i did i once sandbagged I, you once on that i one. see elon musk behind it then maybe i'll i'll pull out my he'll wall. be buying stocks soon trust me but you told me you didn't like elon musk before this of I, course i don't because he's so successful he who oh come so, on. You, so you hate on him is what you do no i don't well that that's a hater he right is there. successful at what he does, and the reason why I said I didn't care for Elon Musk is because he took $300 million from the U.S. government as a big chunk of change because he had an inside, good inside friend signed a loan. He got the loan. He paid the loan back immediately, and the United States government said, ooh, we want to use that car. If we could use that car, we'll forgive the loan for $500 million. He said, okay, put the satellites up there. The U.S. government, if you have a car, and you're wanted, and it's a Tesla, guess what? You're done. They're going to find you by the satellite. Boom, beam. You're going home. The Fed's okay, got you. Okay, but tell me who's smart. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, he whatever. Did. He played the well, chess Well, sometimes game. you got to make some deals, right? <laughs> yeah, he but, did a but, good deal But there. tell me who's smarter than Elon Musk on this planet. Oh, not too many guys. Not too many guys. No. The only there's other not, one is Amazon, one. you know? Amazon? <sighs> He's loaded. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He Beat him whoa, by whoa. a Tom, mile. Tom, Tom, Tommy, Tommy. You're talking about money versus intelligent. Oh, yeah. I I'm going to ask you this again. No one. I'm going to give you another I'm no shot. One. Who is no smarter one. than him on this planet? No one. That's the third time I said no one. So There's no, no one smarter than him. He's the smartest guy on the planet. He's developing a I, chip that can correct things. Yes. That I you, agree. you have a family member that agree. isn't in good shape. Elon is working on, yes, he has engineers around him, but he's the one who developed it, right? And what he does is, and you can't that's tell me amazing. any different that's because it. I, yeah. I know. I see okay? it. I see it. It's, he got amazing. the, he basically got the outline, okay? Mm -hmm. Then he gave it to his engineers. And then, yes, they made it. Yep. But Elon came up with it. Well, that was his idea all the way. You need to respect that guy more of than course, you do. Of course, yeah. He's a fucking I, I beast. I get around about him, but I know he's an animal. He's the Hulk. Right and now. it's going to come out. He's you know, gonna, it's going to be beta one of the trip. He's the you Hulk. You know, I'm not taking beta one, but I I'll got, take beta six, though. I got a, I got a picture of the Hulk that that it's, he's screaming, and it's really cool because when I purchased it, I thought of Eli Musk. It says success. Screaming the Hulk. But you told me it's you didn't. Me. You, but you I told know. me prior that you didn't really like because him. If, if, but but hold on, hold like on, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Because I love him. You get but, it? Like it's a love hate relationship for me. But with that's him. a hater though. No, I'm not a hater. No, 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 no. Hater different. I hate to love him. Why? Because I love him. Because that's a he hater. started from nothing, and I love that he started from nothing. And I hate that he started from nothing. So it's something that it inspire. It, he inspires me. Bro, I talk crap about him, but he inspires me like you inspire me. Very few people do that to me. Very few. Eli Musk is one of them, and I love to hate him. That's it. I'm not his hater, 
But I love him so much that I hate him sometimes. But Tommy, that's a hater, though. No, how's that? I love my wife. I've been with her since I was 13 years old. She's sitting at home right whoa, now. Whoa, whoa, not, 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 I not, hate not, her, not. but I still love her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, every guy hates their fucking wife. No, I disagree. Really? Yeah. Well, then I guess you haven't talked to enough guys by themselves. Well, I've talked to enough. There's a there's a there's ten percent of the men that are married love their wives so much because they are just like their wife. So you find that chick, you're good to go. Okay. Ten percent. Do you think that that actually works out? Yeah, it's gonna work for me after my wife is gone. So I gotta keep that okay. belief. Uh, okay. I'm gonna teach you another lesson, right? Teach me. If two people are together, they're the same. It's not going to work. They just adjust. The roommates, they're totally just... Totally agree. Nothing. Well, well I, oh you my God. realize that I'm proving you wrong right now. <laughs> You're proving me so right right okay. now. But when when one individual is completely different from the other, right, and one can accept a lot of things and the other one can't accept a lot of things, that is the one. And here's the answer why. Because... The one person on the left side, let's just say, mm -hmm. they needed that in their life, okay? Very true. Now, the person on the right side, they needed that other side. You know, they be, because all they knew was what they knew, okay? So now, if you have two people that are the same, yeah, they get along great. Yin and yang, I got you. Yin and yang, right? Yin At least yang. you know that part, yeah. right? Okay? So it, it's... It's good really, point. it's yeah, really a fugazi. Yeah. You, you understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. That is, it is a true fugazi. That's so now, a real relationship is when you go through battles. Oh yeah. And you're gonna go through battles all the time. And if you don't go through a battle, okay. then it's not a fight. Okay. Then, then Tommy, listen to me. All right. If you don't go through a fight, it's not worth anything. Mm -mm. Do you agree with that? I agree. Okay. So you meet your wife. She's completely opposite of you. She's not Tommy. No. Okay. Tommy has a suit, and you do. I'm talking specifically about you. Yeah. Huge heart. Yep. You like everybody. You want to get along with everybody. Okay, that's you. Yep. Now, your wife, from what I know, I never met her, and God bless her. Yep. You know, in my mind, I'm pretty sure that she probably gets into you yep. when she wants to, you know? She's the loner. And she's probably said, don't hang out with this person, don't oh, do yeah. this, don't do that. Mm -hmm. If I had to take, and I've never met her. Mm -hmm. And exactly. again, bless her. Exactly true. With all my heart. But she's the opposite of you. Mm -hmm. Because you will talk to anybody. You're mm -hmm. a talker. Yep. But that's part of your business aspect, which yeah. is good and not good. Yep. But your wife is, if I had a guess, and again, I don't know her, so I don't want to speak for her, Completely but I bet she's... Opposite. I bet she's very careful who she talks to. She doesn't talk to nobody. And I bet you she yells at you a lot. <laughs> she yells all the time. And that's why she's your wife. Yeah. Now, if you're with somebody that just says, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, 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 you're great. That all sounds good. But then you live this life for 90 years that really isn't real. Yeah. It's just that one person is saying yeah to, to say yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's true. But who would want that? You know, at the end of the day, I mean, think about it. Nobody. Tom. Tom, Nobody think about that. it. Who the fuck would want that? I wouldn't want that. Because nah, we, we all have that. flaws. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's tough. And then people find a person that doesn't pull out their flaws. And that person doesn't like that. Yeah. You know? know like, I'm sure when when you first met her, when she was breaking her balls. Again, I'm, I'm speaking for her and I don't know her. Yeah, she's, I, I want to make that very clear because I, I don't know her. She's and big time. I respect women very much. You know I do. Yeah, no, she's just a very codependent person on me now. When I met her, she was an independent person. That's the difference now. I didn't marry a codependent person. I married a person that was independent, that wanted the companies to succeed because I have two companies. I literally have an investment company, and that investment company was open for her because she's the one with the PhD. She's the one with all the education. Okay, so can if I, can you I don't want to something? take that education and run with it, that's not my fault. Okay. So you well, can sit there and rock if that's what you want to do. Okay, Th this is my opinion. I'm not saying that I'm right No, I'm this. just sharing that with you. Now. Yeah, no, you I, no, no, of course, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think that she just wanted a man. Uh, that's exactly what her mother said, <laughs> you know? And what what her mother said? You gave it all away because all you wanted was a man. 
my wife was class Victorian at Atlantic High School, right here in Delray. Class Victorian, 1987, dude. Most popular girl in the whole entire school. Everyone knew her. What, what happened? It was exactly what her mom said. You became popular because you wanted a man that was more popular than you. Where that's where I came in and bada boom, bada bing, done. And tell me if I'm wrong. I would I would bet money on this, which I don't bet, Come as on. you know. Bet. Okay. Come on. Let's bet. Well, Thousand bucks. You don't want to bet again because you already lost with no, the clock. No, I want 200 bucks on the clock. No, I fixed, I the, fixed clock, the clock, not you. I fixed the clock. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm only you kidding. I like, I'm buzzing. I'm kidding. I love you, bro. I'm buzzing your balls. Yeah, you I did, know you are. I you know. did fix the clock. You told me how to fix it. No, but what happened? Tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, you tell me. No, right? I will. I'm not going to So she's, everybody says, hey, you're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Yeah, people all around you, right? Very yes true. or no? Yep, that's true. Okay? I'm building to beat you. Yeah. Okay? No, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're great. You're this. You're the, even when she's got like one leg with a cane. Yep. Oh, geez, those two legs look good. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then you come along. When did you come along? Wow. That when did you meet 1985 her? I met her. Were you dancing? Yeah, you were dancing at the time, right? killing it. Background dancer with Madonna. I was what? killing yeah. it. Tell me again what you were doing. Nobody could break a windmill from a head spin to a windmill to a crawl. <laughs> and I would pop. I mean, I would. you'd see me. And when I'm doing a head spin, I would throw my head and then catch myself and start crawling. So I would go up in the air. And while I'm spinning in, on my head, I would push myself up. Start crawling, push myself way up, and then drop onto a windmill, and you just see my legs going. Phew, 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 phew. It was so sick. Now I'm, I'm going to get back to my point, but I want to ask right, this because cool. you know I've been asking for months now to yeah. find me a breezy, a uh, little doll. Oh. I don't care who it is. How does he do six uh, flips like that? I don't know. That's cool though. Huh? That you bad. saw it, though. remember? Yeah. I sent it to you. Yeah. He does backflips, yeah. Yeah, backflips. My over cousin him. Nelson used to do that. But how does he do it, though? Man, it, it, limber. I mean, once you get the force, once you go back and get that force from one, as long as you push yourself with your uppers and you just kick your legs, you can you can do quite a bit reps back. I mean, I could do – I remember I used to do three front flips. I would never do no backflip. I let Junito, my cousin, my Nelson, my cousin Nelson would do that. I'm like, nah, I ain't doing that. No way. But I've been to his concerts, right? <laughs> it was and, awesome. And, yeah, no, <laughs> and he's sweating to death, right? Still and doing backflips. Still doing backflips. And the last concert I was at, right, he it, he was in Tampa. And he sang Death the song cool. that you could tell, like, really hit him somewhere in the yeah. heart. You know what I mean? Tampa's dope. Oh, yeah. He was, he was on stage. He, he was singing, or, you know, if you haven't listened to Chris Brown, forget about what he did. He's, he's a changed guy. He's just... Fucked up from what I'm, happened. I like Chris Brown. I got nothing to say bad but about But now, Chris. he comes down and he sings his song. And you can tell. Yeah, I mean, he's probably done 20 concerts at this time, right? Yeah, you know, over himself. one after another after another. Right. And and he's putting his all into it. He's jumping off of the, the goddamn stage. Yep. He's singing this song where he's saying, basically, he was in a depression time. Like, yeah. he was very depressed, yeah. and he's like, look, if you're going to kill me, I'm going to kill everybody. You know what I mean? Not that he would do it, but he was just saying that. Yeah. It was a great song. If you want to look it up, it's yeah. um, uh, Heartbroken. The Heartbroken album yeah. is what the it heartbroken is. Heartbroken album, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what. Him and Kanye are going through some serious stuff. Yeah, well, you know, Kanye bought him that goddamn, um, it was like a bull. What Kanye buy him? Yeah, it's a fucking tank. Kanye wow. bought him a tank. Like a bulletproof army tank. Wow. Hummer. Yeah. It's like a Hummer tank. Yeah. Wow. Pretty neat. That's yeah. That's dope. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, like, but because they're both nuts. Yeah, you know what I mean? But cool. we're nuts too, right? <laughs> that's cool. It's awesome. So now he comes down and he sings a song. And I mean, I mean, it's, you know, your siren's in it and it's it's so emotional. Yeah. Now after that, he goes back to like another hyper song. No, this is 16, 18 songs in. Yeah. Like this guy not. does eight backflips, yeah. back to back to back. After that. It's all over YouTube. Yeah. yeah. How the fuck does he do that? Dude, he's got some mad energy. I'm not too sure, but I know he does work out. 
He does keep himself healthy. That's the one regimen that Chris Brown has done. That's part of his therapy now because, you know, what happened with him and Rihanna, you know, after he hit Rihanna and all that. Part of his therapy is to do yoga, stay healthy. A lot of weed. Yeah, and a lot of weed, yeah, because he smokes. But just because you smoke, I mean, I know a lot of weed heads that are, shit, Joe Rogan's a weed head. Nobody knows that. No, no, I I know he is. Yeah, Yeah, bro, and he's... Yeah. He's good to go, but it's, 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 I mean, we today's kind of like bubble gum. You got all different flavors, man. See, I think everybody, ha- weed that everybody has their flaw, Keeps you up right? like cocaine or weed that brings you down like, <sighs> yo, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. You know? No, I'm scared of the sativa, right? Sativa? Oh, that will put you to sleep. No, indica puts you to sleep. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I got it. Yeah, you're right. Indica is opposite sativa keeps you up what weed keeps you bouncing around something mixed with cocaine probably maybe oh, i don't know i don't know Shit, it, it's I'll legal i know it's legal you can go get it in the medical <laughs> the medical place. Now, what, what do you think do you you know <clears throat> you've been around a lot of people right do you yeah. think like oh, all drugs God. should be legal yes i agree with you i agree see the problem why they don't legalize the drugs is because they gotta have this federal fucking DEA all over shit just to make money. It's all a big gimmick. If they fe- if they federalized every drug that was out there and they taxed it and they prescribed it to the individual, and if that individual gets rid of it and he's out of it, then guess what? Shit, you shit out of luck. That would take all the drug cartels right the hell out of the business. And... They probably, and if that did happen, man, I think I'd be the first one to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, yo, that guy over there, yeah, we got to get rid of him. He's, but, but what, he's giving but, the But you know who the did that? It's it Portugal. They legalized everything. And you see how good they're doing? Sixty per, se, No, 70% down. Do you see 70%, how good they're doing? Yeah. Did you see how bad Portugal was before it was this terrible. pandemic? It was absolutely terrible. Bro, I'm so glad you brought Portugal up because I have a very good friend of mine that's Portuguese and he he worked all his life here because he didn't want to go back. When they legalized it and it became beautiful, he packed his entire family up, mom, everyone. And when I tell you everyone, they all got together and went back to Portugal. They all left. They all went. Went back yeah. home. And they beautiful homes, beautiful living now because they made so much money here that it was doom, 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 gone, gone, gone. Yeah, but because 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 there, every you can walk into like Walmart and buy yeah. whatever you want, yeah. and everything went down. Why? Well, the reason is because you can walk Drug in there. Drug pandemic. Now look, let's say they legalize heroin, right, or mm-hmm. coke, right? I've yep. never done coke because I'm afraid I would like it I too have. much. I you have. have? Yeah, I have. It's bad. It's the worst drug out there, I think. Now, when you do coke, do you, do you go through a physical withdrawal or just oh, mentally? Yeah. You oh, do go through that? It's so bad. It just, yeah. It's so bad. It isn't even funny. What's bad about it? I think it? it's just, just, the, just the way it makes you feel. I mean, just the way it makes you want to go get more you know like oh i need more i need more it's like it's it's just it's it's, i think it's worse than heroin to be honest coke yeah really yeah i think it's worse than heroin. really do because it's it's a something that you could come on coke or crack coke you think coke is worse worse than heroin yeah because i i i i can't i can't argue with that because i don't know i never people in washington do it their senators Congressmen, these, these guys, bro, they all do it in there. I mean, not, I, I, let me stop myself. Allegedly, we have Congress and senators that do it, but they do it like a coffee shop. It's like, you know, I drink my coffee like crazy. They, That's their coffee, you know, and that's the way it is, and it's always going to be that way. Well, cocaine became like the normal thing, right? It is Especially normal like Wall Street. But now, especially the, big Ballers. But you know what? A lot moved to Motifanil, and I did a whole, yeah. I did Ugh. 37 million episodes on that, but on Motifanil. And fentanyl and all this stuff. I'm taking Motifanil for fucking 20 years, man. You? 20 years, yeah. You would take it, or you have it? I have a prescription for it, oh, and okay. I take it, and I've been taking it for 20 years. Yeah, so 
That's it's right. Doesn't do anything to you though. No, it's kind of so. like a. Um, it's not like Adderall. Hmm. You know what I mean? But it, it's there's a big difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you take it, you have you you do get the euphoria. Yeah. Um, you you're very aware. Yeah. In other words, like I can look at you. If you're moving the right shoulder or the left shoulder, I can comprehend why you're moving the right or the left. It, it's it's really weird, but you, you have cool. to take it. Now, cool. Not that I'm promoting no, it. No, 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 you know of course, I mean? of course. I understand but, what you mean. But, uh, but it's not, you know, it's been around for a gazillion years. Yeah. You know, 1956 it was invented, and uh, nobody's ever overdosed. You can't overdose. Yeah. It's impossible. So it comes in 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams. If you take over 400 milligrams, you will have the worst headache in the world Ooh. that you won't even think about taking anymore. And if you do, your headache's just going to get even worse. So, n- no, yeah. no, nobody's ever died. I, I think like 0.2%. Yeah, that's just I, I could look it up, just, but you just take kind of like your uh, uh, omega, omega, omega three. I don't see. Stuff. I don't like that. I, I would never take an omega three. Uh, I don't take it. That's, that's what yeah, they say. It'll, it'll, it'll make you fat. Yeah, I don't, I don't take any vitamins. Thank God. Well, they're not FDA approved. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. but but the motorphenols is it, it's a it's really something uh, special, which I wish the FDA won. But in other countries, it's a whole different fucking ball game. You know, but yeah, here it's true. it's well they they. It used to not be regulated, but now it is because the FDA realized, well, it can fix this, it can fix that. Well, then we can't make money on A, B, C, D. You know what I mean? Just like Same thing with marijuana, yeah. Yeah, I Same agree thing. with you 100%. Oh. It, it, it's just like the example of this, okay? How so, long did they say that? Hey, so you case. can send a rocket. Well, Elon, mm-hmm. the yep. guy that you were talking shit yep. about before we got on camera. Our boy Musk. There's nobody smarter than him, and you're going to retract your opinion of him pretty soon. I think in another year that chip's going to come out. Now, I'm not taking the first chip, but I'll take the Beta 6, you know. Beta 6? Is that what it's going to be called? Well, you know, they come out with the first one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And who knows what the hell that's going to do. But there's but what he's developing is, what what's it called? Net what? Oh, the net, the um, Skynet. Yeah, but he developed that though. Yeah, I don't know how you can talk shit on. I mean, you need it's, you need a. I mean, hey, you know, right uh, as long as you don't watch Terminator too much, you won't freak out on Skynet. Oh God, because uh, I've yeah. never. You know what? You like those movies? Yeah, I love sci-fi. Why? I don't know. Just get you out of out of here. I know that there's aliens out there, so that's why. And the government's been covering up for over 30 years. But who brought that out, though? It starts with a T. His last name starts with a T. Mm-hmm. Why do you think he opened the space program? Yeah. He was dead before him. No, they're out. No, of course they are. have to. I mean, in my opinion. President mm-hmm. Trump knows what's out there. Yeah. And that's why they had to get him out of office because they're like, holy. Since he's been in office, more sightings and more proof has come out about aliens. And the uh, higher powers don't want that. He's just, uh, he's he's too free at the mouth and too free with the Twitter. So they're like, no, we can't have that. You but, know? It, but, it, but, it, but no, he's too much like me and you. Yeah. This program you know I mean? is going to be successful. Yeah. It's going to well, be successful. Well, well, hopefully. But if this guy gets in, he's going to block it all. Yeah. He's going to just do four years. And then but, but, but no, he, but first off, he's not going to do four is, years. Pence is coming back. No. First off, Biden is not going to be there for four years. You don't? I don't think so either. First off, I don't even think he's going to get in because yeah. you've never. I I've been telling you for how many years to read Machiavelli. Have you read Machiavelli? Uh, no. no. Sun Tanzu? No. Tupac yeah. loved Machiavelli. All right. That's you, why his name. He named his album. Machiavelli. Then why wouldn't you read the book Machiavelli? Why wouldn't you read it? I I gotta read it. Now I'm gonna oh. read it. I'm gonna get a digital okay. copy and read it. So I'm just gonna tell you the way that it works. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Okay. All right. So, and Machiavelli the Prince, he's trying to overthrow, uh, he's in a war, okay? Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Like, way, way uh, hard to understand. But then you read the modern version, but you have to read the first version to then 
comprehend fully the second version, okay? Gotcha. And what he does is, now Trump's not quiet, right? Yep. When was the last time you seen him on TV? Once, twice, last month? much. Okay. All right. So when McAvoy was going to go to war mm-hmm. and overthrow, mm-hmm. in other words, he had something in his pocket <laughs> that nobody knew. No. He just kept quiet. Now, Trump can't quite keep qu- quiet. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. he's a he's my guy. Yeah, he's my guy too. So. Okay, well he's my guy, so he can't hold it in all together. But he's nope. been very quiet. Yes or no? Yep. Okay. Now, if you were to listen to me six months, actually, fucking years ago. What what I tell you? Six years ago to read this book. Yeah. Actually, when you first met me, when I first yeah. moved down here, seven right. years ago, I yeah. told you. It's been a while. You're right. I met you. I liked you. I said, look, read this book. Remember, I was a nutcase. Yeah, I and I said, I said, before you talk to him, read this book. And then you came in and you told me you read the book. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, I should have read the book. That was a lie, but it's, it's fine. Yeah. It's okay. I forgive you, but it's fine. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what happened. So in other words, he, he, there, there, there was a big war or whatever. He's got everybody against him. Now he went to war many times and lost. Mm-hmm. But you know what he did? He didn't give up. Nope. Because what happened was is was that his heart overpowered his intelligence. In other words, he forgave people he should not have forgiven. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Then he learned that that isn't the way to do things. You know, if if uh, if love conquered things, the world wouldn't be the way it is. That's but if true. you put fear in the world, then it's a little bit different. Yeah. And there's one quote that's very good. It's chapter 13, if anybody's watching this, mm-hmm. after we've been bullshit about nothing for this no, long. No, we're good. No, I, I think a lot of people are going to watch this. But chapter 13, page 13, he says, um, would I rather be loved or feared? He says, well, I would love to be loved, but love doesn't do the job. Mm-hmm. I'd rather be feared. Yep. You know, and people don't understand that. That, that that's the problem in this yep. day and age. You have to put fear in people. Otherwise you can't accomplish anything. You yep. can't. So in other words, he he realizes that's that, true. blah blah blah, things are going, he goes to war. Okay. Well now Hero knows what's gonna happen. They're gonna come at him with everything. Now oh, he he's at war. This is seventeen hundreds, right? Oh yeah. It's before we became a state. Right. Exactly correct. Okay, but at this time, Nicholas Machiavelli was—he was like Trump, talk shit, ready to pull the gun on anybody like a nutcase, right? Yes, he did. All of a sudden, he, he got quiet. He had quiet. He said a few things, but he got quiet and he just waited. And what he did was, Tommy, he let everybody give everything that they got because they thought they could beat him. So what they did was this. So in 17, I think, uh, I'm not this smart, but, you know, I'm pretty smart. Yeah, yeah. 1794, so they come out, and he's at war with whoever the fuck he's at war with, because he's always at war. They come out with all this shit. Boom, bada bang, bada bang. He don't say nothing. He doesn't he's say quiet. anything. He's waiting to see what they have, because they're waiting for him to be mad. To be Nicholas Machiavelli, right? Yep. Who was Respond. the guy that responds really quick, like Trump. Yep, responds fast. Right, okay. So he waits for everything to come out, sees what he's got to deal with. Yep. But in his side pocket, he's just waiting for everything to come out. And he knows that the people against him don't have the patience. Yep. So they're going to hit him with everything they can. Yep. Okay. Now, as we speak today, they're seizing those Dominion machines. One by one, but Trump ain't saying nothing. Mm-hmm. He's letting other people do it. Yep. That's you true. watch. He's going to come out. Yeah, and true. I, you know, I didn't think he could do it. I didn't think so. But I'm watching him, and I've read so many books. You know, you should, you he's should read more. He's not conceiving. He's not conceiving, that's for sure. He'll never conceive. Yeah. But, but, but I think he would if it was fair, don't you? Yeah, if it was fair. He's not a bad dude. Right. You know what I mean? But. I mean, if you think I that think that's it, why the federal, the, the military is com- the military is uh, actually seizing the the, yeah. the machines. You're exactly right. Yeah. 
the so military the stepped in, yeah. and all the militaries got behind, and yeah. all the all all those big guys, you know, that protect us, yeah. Yeah. and they said, no, no, look, worse than well, actually, no, because their votes weren't counted. That's why. So right. They were very upset and about Trump that. got to them. Why? Because who he protected care? Who protected the veterans? He did. Nobody else did. He was the one president that put the Veterans Care Act into play. Yep. That's and, very and, true. And he had guys go in there? Every veteran in America has a home or somewhere to live because of that Veterans Care Act, Tommy. And That's who so created true. that? Who created that? President Trump. And and who the denied Republican it Party. that he signed an executive oh, order to get that done? Wow. Pelosi. Pelosi fought him on that and... You know what's funny is they gave her they gave her the speaker's seat again, but she, she hasn't been speaking much lately. Seriously, and and I mean they're gonna they're gonna give Biden all of this, and if Biden becomes our president, you know that the, President Trump appointed a special military team to investigate <laughs> Hunter know. Biden before he leaves office. I know. So it, it's okay. He can get his four years, and so the people can get their president that they voted for. But he's still going to come back. If he if they don't give him his chair now and they don't prove it now, he, when he comes back, he's going to win it. But a yeah. lion slide because everyone already knows. What he's doing, he's changing the format of the whole front line for voting. This should happen when Al Gore, this incident happened with Al Gore. Why is it that Totally they agree. denied. I, I'm actually impressed that you know this. Yeah, but they yeah. denied President Trump's bill that he put into play in 2017, and he put this play bill into play for the voting reasons. He wanted this to be on our license. He wanted our voters' registration to be connected directly to our DL, whatever state you live at. And guess what? Now that this is happening, he already signed the executive bill. We have. We have Republicans running Congress now, which is dominant. This bill is going to pass, Tommy. In the future, our license is going to be connected to our voters' registration. And if you can't, every time you go to do your voters' registration, you got to show your license. Done. But, but, but that should have been done from the beginning. Of course. You he tried I mean? it. He tried it in the beginning. But he's like, hey, we got a piece of paper that says voters' registration. Why don't we have a voters' card like they do in Pakistan? Well, so 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 people don't know this, but I'm telling this to you, right? You know, Between, in Dubai, you want to vote uh, in Dubai? No, I'm you got, your voter's no, no, registration no, card is a driver's license. The, the the first Dominion machine that they seized oh was in where God. Georgia, and, and you know what they did? Tommy, listen to me. I hate that. They name. they they put they they put a hundred. They put it was 50, 50. 50 Biden, fifty Trump, right? They put them through the machine, and what happened? It came out of that fucking machine that All Pelosi Biden. was behind. All Biden. And 25 got Trump. I thought it was 30. It was actually 25. Yep. And the rest went to Biden. Biden. 75 Biden, 25, 25 Trump. Trump. I mean, you and know. that's so, what every so, Dominion so what machine he, did. Because right, this is right. how. Well, they're trying to see Venezuela, everyone. okay. This is how. This is the same system Venezuela used for many years. Okay. Chavez got reelected and made sure he got reelected this way. They hate him so much the Dem the Democratic Party which we should not too much talk about this cuz this is going on YouTube. All they right. Might, fuck, fuck we, we might have to edit this. The, 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 fuck the, it. The, I don't care. The, the parties care. are not going to allow it. They're just not going to allow um what they don't want. You know, so we just we're treading on thin water but at the end of the day the People spoken, they 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 voted Biden and Biden gets in, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that Trump can't come back and do it again. So. I, I I I can't I can't. You know, I, know. I I thought he had no shot, right? I I, I thought I thought there's no way, but I just there's no the, way the, he beat Obama. Come on, how did he get eight million more votes than Obama? It's impossible. Exactly. So, but I just I I can't. You know, like I I conceive. thought for sure. I well he's well he's not going to conceive. You know, but. But that's a man, though. That's a man, though. Yeah, right. I mean, that's a man. That's a man. That's a man. Mm -hmm. That's a man, right? That yep. conceives, yep. right? Yep. Yep. That's true. So what I think is going to happen is I think that Trump is going to find a way to beat him. Yeah. 
because I can't imagine him losing. Yeah. And if he does, he really didn't lose because I think that at 78, I mean, I if the guy's coming back at at 78, running and getting 20, 24, yeah. there you go. I mean, the guy doesn't yeah. lose. One way or another, he's going to win. Yeah. I think somehow, some way, he's going to overturn this. Yeah. You know, and now when you come back, I want you to come back and talk about your coins yes, and, and uh, plastic an cells awesome and everything else. And I'll bring a plastic cell with me next yeah, time. Yeah, 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 for sure. yeah. yeah. For and sure. and great conversation and yeah. you're a great guy. I love coming in and talking. And we had a great conversation. Yeah, I, I, I respect you a lot. I respect you but, too, Tom. But, um, you know, um, I'm, I'm a man. Yep. And you're a man. Yes, sir. And, you know, so sometimes you don't like to hear things you like to yeah, hear. That's all yeah. right, though. I still right, love well, you. I still love you, too, man. Thank all you right. for coming in. You got it, brother. We'll talk. All right, we'll talk. All right, you got it.